Hi, it's Alex with All Home Investors. Today we're going to show you how to hang any picture in less than a minute using one of these. We got five things that we need in order to hang this picture in less than a minute. First, I'll need a three to four foot level. Second, you'll need a sharp pencil. Oh, and speaking of pencils, here's a fun FYI for you. Experts say that the ratio of the pencil to the eraser is a little optimistic, don't you think? I think so, but anyways, when you tape measure any size, any length, uh, you'll possibly need pliers and I'll show you why here in a little bit. And then the final thing is the push pin. So this is called a T push pin. Uh, you want to get the inch and a half to two inch long push pins. And one other thing to note is make sure you get the thicker kind instead of thin kind. I don't know if you can see, I think you can. There's a difference. The smaller ones bend a lot easier. This is a skinny one. They've been really easy and they don't hold as much weight. Thicker ones, they don't bend as easily. Now we're going to show you how to hang the simplest type of picture. It's only got one hook on the side. So go ahead and grab a push pin and you can quickly and easily measure where the push pin should be from the top of your image by using your finger to measure. So if I wanted it eye level, let's say here, I hold my hand at the top, the bottom of my finger is where you would do the push pin, push it in an angle, point it up, push this flap out and then line it up and you're done. First, we're going to show you how to hang a picture with two anchors on the back to make sure it's level. What I like to do is put it on the floor approximately where I'm going to hang it so you can kind of get a visual where it's going to go. So grab your tape measure, your pencil. Uh, let's pretend this is a four foot wall. So we're going to center it on that. So you measure out your two foot, mark it, and then on the picture, mark your center on the top. So this is 29 and 3 quarter. So this would be 14 and 7 eighths. And then also, go ahead and put your tape up, grab your level. And since you know the center of your level, the bubble is typically dead center. Set it up approximately centered. There's your center mark, approximate center. And this marks where the T pins are going to go. Okay. Now to get an idea of where this is going to hang, hold it up here. So at approximately eye level. And typically these hooks are at the top. These are slightly down, so you can use your hand or something to approximate the measurement, which this is about this much apart. So I'm gonna find my center on top, my center on the wall, line it up, and wherever the height is, I'm gonna mark that with my finger. We know it was this far down for the hooks. Grab your tape measure, or sorry, the level. Mark it. We're gonna say it's about there. You line up with your center. Find your marks. Make sure the bubble is level. That center between lines. Your marks that you mark, transfer them to the wall. All you need is a little dot. Let's see, where is this one? Right there. So I got two little dots of where my push pins are going to go. And we know it's dead centered on the four foot imaginary wall. We have two push pins. Looks like that. What you want to do push them into the dot, but push them at an angle 
instead of straight. Otherwise they'll bend and they could fall out. When you do it at an angle, they hold more weight and they won't bend. So there's that dot. My other dot is here. And all you do is line them up vertically. And you just line up the hooks. You can do one side, other side. Done. The last thing we're gonna show you is how to do two pictures hanging next to each other to make sure that they're level. First you wanna do is grab your level, your pencil, and then lean these pictures up. I already have them against the wall to where we wanna hang them. Lean them up. Line up the center of your level between the pictures and then mark your spot where you want the push pins to be. Height wise, remember, you can hold it up and use your finger to measure where the pin will be. So we just need one. So we're gonna go here. Keep your finger there. Grab a push pin, I got it. We'll say it was here. Push pin in. Take your level with your marks that you marked. Make sure your bubble's level and then transfer. All you need is a little dot right there. Grab another push pin. So you're going to mark it and the dot will be here. Same thing. Grab your pictures, pull your flap out, line it up. Oh. That's up. That's up. As you can see, they're perfectly level. One thing to note before we go is I don't know if you all have kids like we do, but they love to run by and do this and this and this, and then your pictures look like that. If you want an easy tip to fix that, there's this tape called Mavalus tape, spelled M-A-B-A-L-U-S, and it's guaranteed to not peel the paint or the drywall paper from your walls pretty awesome. So all you have to do is get a little strip, roll it up. All you need is just one, it's super strong. Level your picture, put it here on the bottom or in the corner. Do the same for the other one. Roll it up. Line up your picture. You can use a level if you really want to. And now, oh, stick that one. And now it stays put. One more thing I wanted to mention, um, I mentioned the pliers early on, and this you might need if you ever hit a stud. And you notice with all the pictures we hung up, we didn't hit any studs. 95% of the time, you're not gonna hit any studs. A trick to find a stud is a magnet. You don't need no stud finder, you don't need anything. Studs are usually 16 inches on center. So all you have to do is grab your magnet, pick a starting point, and just start sweeping your wall until you feel, feel it grab. As you can see there, it grabbed. You can pinpoint the center by tilting your magnet right there. So that's the center. Sometimes you might get a stray uh, screw or nail that the drywallers messed up on to confirm this is a stud since you know there's a screw here go up or down and you should hit every 12 18 inches another screw and as, as you can see i hit one here that's our dinner coming so we know we have a stud if you were to ever to hit a stud with one of these push pins you will not be able to push it all in 
That is as far as it's gonna go, and that's obvious, too far to go in. So all you need is just grab where that, where it stops, and it's usually half inch. And that's what the pliers are for. Take the pliers, half inch off, make sure you find that on the floor, because that will hurt. And then you have a short push pin, put it in, and you're good to go. That's it, thank you.